WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial trading down 20. NASDAQ is up 139. S&P is up 16 and a half. Gold. Gold contract down $27, trading at 19.27 an ounce. We have silver down 51 cents, 25 dollars, 10 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude. Where are you, baby? We are down uh, 7.85 at 106.04. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up six ticks, trading 121.23. The 30-year up 20 ticks at 147.22. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up 321 ticks, trading 99,113. It's interesting that King Dollar couldn't hold price, folks, okay? King Dollar was up over 500 ticks. Should have been able to just blow away this top. Hasn't been able to do it yet. Euro is at 109. Uh, yen is trading out here at uh, 123. That's got really weak. It's surprising that gold's actually not down even more. And the British pound is out here uh, trading at a price point of 130. Guess what, folks? We talked about the uh, S&P last week doing um, an ABC structure up. The bottom line is you get an ABC structure up in the S&P 500. Now, we didn't get the volume in the Qs, but you did get the volume in the futures. Uh, one of my tigers uh, gave me a heads up, and there's no doubt. This is about as deviant as you can get. We're going back to the highs. If we take a look at the SPY first, the SPY's at 454. You get the price projection up here of 478.50, uh, and uh, on the all-time high is uh, 479. So this thing's going on the highs. <laughs> Pretty amazing. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs. The price projection of the three Qs, right now I trade in 363, it's 391.99. That's very close to the highs. The high that we're talking up here is 408. So bottom line, it is what it is, and this will absolutely blow some minds. And I've said many times, the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time. And I suspect as we get up to those highs, People will go out of their minds, and I, what I'm looking at, I, I suspect we're going to get up to those highs. We have the volume contracting as you get up there, and then we get a nice big consolidation that's happening, which would be really cool. We're going to take a look at the yen, because the yen here, this thing, um, the bottom line is that everyone's going up in interest rates, um, except the uh, Japanese government. <laughs> the, the bottom line, that's what this is all about today. This thing really got weak in a big way. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>